Hi everyone, uh, this is RJ Ensignado and welcome back sa aking channel, UTR Math Tutorial. So in today's video, uh, I will discuss uh, age problem. Okay, so in solving age problem, ang pinakamadaling way dyan ay kailangan uh, gagawa tayo ng table. Tapos ire-represent natin yung mga, yung mga unknown by, by x or any, any variable na gusto nyo. Okay, so simulan na natin. So, ito yung problem. Uh, a father is uh, three times as old as his son. And his daughter is three years younger than his son. So, tatlo yung given, father, daughter, and, and his son. So, if the sum of all three ages, three years ago was 63 years, find the present age of the father. So, ang hinahanap natin ay present age ng father. So, ang mga given muna natin dito, so, isa-isahin natin. So, ang mga... Yung mga tao sa problem ay father, and then son, at saka yung daughter. Okay, so gawa lang tayo ng, uh, gawa lang tayo ng table. So ilalagay natin father, daughter, and son. Okay, so lagay lang natin dito sa table natin. So para madali nating makuha ang equation na gagawin natin. So sulat lang natin yung mga given na mga pangalan dyan. Okay, sa age problem. So, father, son, and daughter. Okay, so ayan, gawa lang natin ang table yan. Okay, so ayan yung mga tatlong pangalan. Tapos, so laging pag sa age problem, so, madas dyan, meron yung present. Okay, so ang sabi dito, a father is three times as old as his son and his daughter is three years younger than his son. So, the sum of all, 3 ages, 3 years ago. So, ayun. So, meron tayo dito, 3 years ago. So, mga 63 years, find the present age of the father. So, ang hinahanap natin, yung present age, present age ng father. Okay? So, present age ng father. So, punin muna natin yung mga expression na gagamitin natin. So, hindi natin alam yung... Uh, Father, son, and daughter. So, pwede tayong gumamit dyan ng one unknown, two unknowns, or three unknowns. Pero sa mga problem na ganito, laging uh, one unknown lang ang ginagamit natin. Kadalas at isa lang. So, init lang natin na X. So, hindi natin alam lahat yung father, son, and daughter. So, pwede tayong maglagay ng, ng X kahit saan dyan. Tapos, dun sa given na uh, sa sentence, dun natin malalaman kung ia-assign lang natin yung isa dyan. Halimbawa, yung father ang X, or yung son ang X, or yung daughter yung X. Okay, so alamin natin mabuti kung saan natin ilalagay yung X. Okay? So, a father is three times as old as his son. So, yun. Yung father daw ay three times as old as his son. Okay? So, si father, three times as old as his son. So, pinakamaganda dyan, ang ilagay natin na X ay si son. Okay? Kasi, Si father daw ay 3 times as old as his son. So, kung si son ay x, si father ay magiging 3 times as old. So, 3x. Okay? So, kaya ang pinakamagandang gawing x natin ay yung son. Kasi, pag ang ginawa natin x, pag ang ginawa natin x ay si si father, kaya sabi, ang father daw ay 3 times as old as his son. So, kapag si father ang ginawa natin x, si son magiging 3 times as old. So, magkakaroon tayo ng fraction. Si son magiging 1 third x. Kasi, si father ay 3 times as old as si son. Okay? So, kaya pinakamaganda dyan, ang gagawin natin x, imbis na si father, kailangan si son ang gagawin natin, gawin natin x para walang fraction. Okay? So, if father is 3 times as old as si son, so si son ay x, si father ay 3x. Para mas simple. Okay? Pag nagkabaligtad kasi yung x na paglalagay nyo ng x, ah, mali na yung magiging answer nyo dyan. Okay? So, ito lang yung pinaka-key dyan, yung, yung sa table. Pag nagawa na natin yung mga expression, madali na yan. And, his daughter is 3 years younger than his son. So, his daughter is 3 years younger than his son. Okay? So, ang daughter daw niya, 3 years younger than his son. So, mas bata ng tatlo. So, therefore, isasubtract natin ng 3. Kung ang age ni son ay x, si daughter ay x minus, x minus 3. 
dahil mas bata si daughter kay son, kaya nag-minus tayo ng 3. Okay? So, kung 3 years older si daughter, hindi plus 3 naman ito. Okay? Tapos, meron pa tayong uh, isang olum. So, ito yan. If the sum of all 3 ages, 3 years ago. 3 years ago daw. So, dito sa isang olum, dito natin ilalagay yung 3 years ago. Okay? So, kadalasa naman sa age problem, yan lang ang makikita nyo dyan. Laging may age uh, years ago or meron din uh, blank years from now. So, ganun lang kadalasan yung mga age problem. Laging may present or lalagay nyo dito now or present tapos merong blank years ago tsaka blank years from now. So, pag from now plus, kapag ago ay minus. So, 3 years ago, so sasagkakan lang natin lahat ito ng 3. Okay, so sasagkak natin lahat ng 3. So, we have 3x minus 3 dahil ago nga, 3 years ago. So, subtract 3. So, itong x magiging x minus 3. Tapos ito, x minus 3 minus 3 pa ulit. Okay, so hindi na natin isusulat yung ano ha. So, o oh, sige, sulat muna natin dito. x minus 3, inopya lang, then minus 3 pa. Tapos, combine natin itong dalawang minus 3. Minus 3, minus 3, that is minus 6. Okay, so hindi, hindi na natin ipakita ito ha. So, x minus 6 na lang siya. Okay, so dito manggagaling sa 3 years ago ang ating uh, equation. So, ang sabi dito, if the sum of all the 3 ages 3 years ago was 63 years. 63 years. Find the present age of the father. So, ang hinahanap natin, ha, take note, ha, ang hinahanap natin ay present age ni father. Kailangan, makukuha muna natin yung x, yun yung kay son. Tapos, mumultiply pa natin sa 3. Common mistake kasi, ang, ang nilet yung x ay si son. Baka kung ano yung makuha yung answer sa x, akala yun, yun na yung final answer. Kailangan pang i-multiply sa 3. Dahil ang, ang, ang hinahanap natin ay kay father. So, ang total daw nito ay 63 years. Okay, so, ang total is 63. So, therefore, our uh, working equation is just add the 3 ages, 3 years ago, and then uh, equate to 63. Okay, so, solve na natin. So, we have age in the father, 3 years ago is 3x minus 3 plus x minus 3. So, pwede natin lagyan ng parenthesis kung gusto nyo para malinaw lang na ito si father, ito si son, at ito naman si daughter, x minus 6, equals 63. Pero dahil positive naman lahat yan, bali wala yung parenthesis dyan. Para lang ginroop lang natin, para maninaw na father, son, daughter. Then combine like terms, so yung mga like terms natin. So ayan, lagyan natin ng arrow, 3x, x, plus x, tsaka may isa pang x dito. Okay, so combine natin. 3x, yung x may 1 yun, plus 1x, plus 1x, so that is equal to 5x. Then combine the the numbers, the constant, so we have negative 3, negative 3, and then negative 6. So lahat, tatlong negative, so all we have to do is add lang yun, and then negative pa rin. So negative 3, negative 3, negative 6, that is equal to negative 12. Equals, just copy 63. Okay, so for x, so kailangan x ang matira, so add 12 to both sides. Para mawala yung negative 12, so add 12 to both sides. Okay, add 12 to both sides. Then, negative 12 plus 12, so that is 0. So, just bring down 5x. So, this is now 0. Equal 63 plus 12. So, this is equal to 75. Okay, then last step, divide both sides by, by 5. Divide both sides by 5. So, therefore, uh, x, so this is the age of the age of the sun, yung x. 75 divided by 5, so that is equal to 15. Okay, so hindi pa dito natatapos dahil Itong x equals 15, ito ay age ni son. Ng son. Okay? So, ang age ni father ay 3x. So, therefore, 3x is equal to 3 times the value of x is 15. Okay? So, therefore, we have uh, age of the father, 3x is equal to 3 times 15. So, that is equal to 45. Okay? So, 45 ang age ni father. Okay? So, ito ang father's age, 45. Okay, check natin kung uh, okay, itong checking. So, tignan natin na 3 years ago. So, ito muna yung present. So, ito muna yung present, ha? Tapos, ito yung 3 years ago. So, present, ang age ni father ay 45. Si son ay 15. Tapos, si daughter 
ay 3 years uh, younger. So, 15 to. So, ito ay maging 12. Tapos, kunin natin yung 3 years ago. Subtract tayo ng 3 sa lahat. 45 minus 3 is 42. 15 minus 3 is 12. 12 minus 3 ay... 12 minus 3 is 9. Tapos, i-total natin, kailangan 63. Okay, so, meron pa lang natin. So, we have 9 plus 2 is 11 plus another 2 is 13. Kaya 1. So, we have 1, 5, 6. Okay, so, therefore, tama. 63 ang total ng age. 63. 3 years ago, ang total ng age nilang tatlo ay 63. Okay? So, kung first time nyo sa channel na ito, huwag nyo kakalimutan mag-subscribe. And hit the bell button para updated kayo sa mga susunod pang mga videos. Okay? God bless and bye-bye!